The landscape of the north of England traces the history of its recent transformation from mills and mining to gleaming financial centres and high-spec shopping malls. The pace of change for those living in this part of the UK in the last decade has been extraordinary, but there's now clear evidence that it's slowing down as retail companies and consumers alike, all fueled by easy credit, are now adjusting to a very different financial climate. In the last three weeks alone, city centres in the northwest, like Leeds, have recorded a 14% drop in footfall past the shops. Retailers are clearly feeling it. Sales have started early, with big reductions in prices. Harvey Nichols was at the vanguard of luxury retailers coming into Leeds 12 years ago. Its store manager told me that sales are holding up here, but habits are changing. I think there's a trend to buy in investment pieces. Um, people are looking at key pieces that they can carry over two or three seasons. Um, but then also people are looking to buy something that cheers them up. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there in, in the news. And I think people really want to cheer themselves up when they buy a piece. So I think we're seeing slightly different trends to last year. And as Christmas approaches, it's these trends which retailers will be monitoring closely. So it seems clear that footfall figures in the regional city centres here in the northwest are certainly being affected by the economic downturn. But for the out-of-town shopping centres, the picture is very different. So we're off to Manchester now, to one of Europe's biggest. The Trafford Centre attracted 30 million visitors last year and they expect to match it in 2008. But shoppers are getting cautious. They've closed all the um, store cards, paid all those off only for the simple reason of the credit crunch. Finding like shopping for Christmas, you just don't really get as much as you used to for your money and stuff. We'll tighten our belts Christmas, without a doubt, yeah. Yeah, we won't spend so much on the children. Yeah, we decided that. Yeah. Food sales are steady, but in clothing and expensive electricals, they're down. Analysts aren't surprised. So, Cathy, no real signs of a drastic downturn yet, but real evidence of people's habits changing? Yes, well, they're going to have to. The average family's got £14 a week less to spend. The uh, consumer price index last month was running at 5.2%, mostly due to increases in food and fuel. So when people have got less money to spend, they've got to be conscious about what they spend it on. In the next few weeks, shoppers and retailers will be holding their breath. The watchword, it seems, for this Christmas is caution.